going on YouTube? Syntax Collector here with another DC Multiverse review for Blight. This is the Batman Beyond with the Build-A-Figure for the Batman Beyond figure. This has these wing looking things right here for this Build-A-Figure. Pick this up on Target.com few weeks back so I could get my hands on some McFarlane figures. This has your typical insert. As you can see the box is bigger to hold this in there. So you got the stand and the card for Blight. I had no idea who Blight was until I did his origin story. Apparently a Batman villain. So go ahead and check out the origin story I did on my YouTube. It's pretty short, probably three minutes or so. Here he is in the plastic. Lack of accessories as usual I can see. So let me crack him out. All right, so here we go. First impression. Solid figure. So we'll take a closer look into it in a minute. So we got the little stand here, flimsy, but it works. And then of course your card his name here Derek Powers I think he was a doctor or something again like I said just check out the ordinance video I made on him only an accessory we got was a hand so he's got swappable hands from this to that because he can do like some sort of um I think it's like nuclear energy or whatever and then we got the these wings for the Batman Beyond Build-A-Figure, so these will go up in my eBay store, because I don't like these, and if I did build the Build-A-Figure, I wouldn't use those as the wings. And so let's get into it here. I'll probably keep this on when I display. It's pretty cool. Pose there, and he's got, um, I'm guessing swap out. Yeah, it'd be this hand. So he's got a fist, so he can't hold anything. Uh, this hand... Really couldn't hold anything either, any type of weapons. So I don't think he really used weapons per se. It does look pretty cool, and I don't know um, the DC multiverse enough to know if they're just reusing parts at all. Like this body seems kind of similar to Deathstroke's body, and then if they just molded on extra stuff, I don't know. You guys, I know this line better than me can tell me, but overall. Yeah, pretty good sturdy figure. No accessories, everything's molded on. I do like this piece, so this is cool here with this. Um, I don't know what you want to call this, like it's how he holds his energy. And then his headpiece here. Oh, his head does come off, that's interesting. Yeah, with a skull. That does come off. Let's see the hands are swappable there. So that's how he garners his powers. Got more here. Well, it's a pretty cool looking figure. Especially if you're into collecting these things in general. Um, I'm more just trying to get into like the villains and anti-heroes. Because I'm a big fan of the hero side of DC. But we'll see how that goes. I'm not trying to go too far down the multiverse rabbit hole. Because there's tons of figures I'm trying to stay on track with. Classified's got a lot of catching up to do with classified. Uh, but yeah, this, this, the body looks good. The figure looks good. So it's going to look good on the shelf. It's sturdy. It's nice and heavy. You know how, how the articulation is going to go on this. We'll double check here. So he's got good ankle movement here, up, down. He's got, do they have ankle roll? No, there's no ankle roll. No lower leg movement. You got your double jointed. Like ratcheting though, unlike Hasbro. Hasbro's is better double jointed knees, but I can't get that top. I probably need to heat heat that up, but more like across the whole buyer really, McFarlane's gone like this ratcheting articulation. I don't know if they're trying to make themselves different from Hasbro, but um legs here. Oh, he's got no upper leg movement. So you lose a POA there. He got you no know, back forth walking movement, ratcheting here as well. 
you can see that. But at least the hips and everything stay in place. Torso, you got some torso movement up here, not at the waist level. Yeah, no waist movement, but up there. So you got some torso movement there. Hands. Are, yes, yeah, so you got wrist articulation there. And then double jointed elbows. You've got, does he have upper arm? Uh, yeah, he doesn't have upper arm movement. Oh, yeah, he does. There you go. So he's got upper arm movement here. Just this kind of got in the way. So that restricts that movement. And then he's got rotational movement. And then you can't get his arm to 90 degrees again because this uh, shoulder pad gets in the way. Again, they have like a ratcheting system there as well in their arms. Pins here in the arms and the legs. Uh, head movement, there is none because his head just comes off. He's got that skull head in here from his radioactive, I believe his radioactive poisoning or whatever, his powers. So, yeah, so that's why I forget how, I don't know how many POA that points of articulation that like um, Hasbro figures like classify what I have, but I think the box on this says this has 21 or 22. And you can see why, because you're missing. There and there and some others that Hasbro figures have. No backpack hole. Not that he necessarily needs one because of this. But I've noticed so far none of them before. Well, I'm saying, yeah, none that I've reviewed have had it. Deathstroke had like a holder for his sword. But no backpack hole. No real accessories so far. I mean, we've had a batarang, some knives. But I don't think any that I've reviewed so far have had like what like guns. They've all been knives blades whatever so i don't know because dc fall i don't know because dc i don't know because there's definitely guns in the comic books so but i'm gonna remedy that with some 3d printing especially with red hood but overall i mean he looks cool i say he'll be cool as a batman villain on the shelf um forget how much i paid for him but i know it was less than got him on sale but hey Pretty cool figure. The body just reminds me of like a Deathstroke body, and they just molded this other stuff on here. But hey, guys, there we go. We got Blight, McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Batman villain. Like, comment, subscribe. JJ out.